So today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to make one of these. What I have here is a little DIY branch and patchery. So I've made a few of these before because I've had like previous fish rooms and I've experimented with a bunch of different types and I've found this design to kind of be the best. So I thought I'd make a video on how to actually make it. So in my last room, I had a very, very similar design, but I used a wire that was very thin and constantly rusted out and caused me problems. So I had a few times where it like rusted out, fell down, branch and went everywhere. Like in this new room that I'm in, I decided that it would be time to try out a new design. So what I've got here is the branch and patchery. Now, this isn't actually a completed one. I'm making these right now for my new room. I'm missing one part, which I will add on before I finish this video. So that part might come in like a week, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make this base model. So I've actually copied Dean from Dean's Fish Room. I don't know whether he'd want me talking about this because I know that he works with Aquarium Co-op and they sell Zis stuff and they probably wanna promote the Zis stuff rather than Dean's DIY projects. But I'm not trying to like call them out or anything. Like I don't have any problems with that. But I saw in a video from like years ago, he had a brine shrimp hatchery very, very similar to this with this archway. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make this. What we have here is literally just a plastic bottle. We've got a few bolts, some washers, and then this bonsai wire. So I think this bonsai wire might rust. I might need to upgrade this wire at some point, but we'll see how it goes. The bottles I'm using are these 1.25 liter, just like plastic bottles. And the nuts that I'm using are these hex head bolts and nuts. These are M6. So you can see there, they're just stainless steel marine grade ones. Sorry, my fingers are so gross. I've been painting all these tanks black and it gets all under your nails. And then I'm also using these M6 just washers. So these are also marine grade. Now you're gonna need marine grade. These aren't very expensive. To get like all 10 of these, it's probably like under 10 bucks. And you might be wondering at my scale, why don't I just buy like a Zis Bridge and Patchery? And the thing is, those are pretty expensive. I need to make three of these. So I have two each day and then there's one for the next day. For the price it'd cost to get one Bridge and Patchery from Zis, it's like I can make three of them for the same cost and they'd be equally as good and do the exact same job. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm also using this bonsai wire. So you can see here, this is the bonsai wire. It just like flexes pretty easy, but it's also pretty sturdy. I think this is made out of aluminium or aluminum. <laughs> I don't know whether it's gonna rust. I mean, aluminium shouldn't rust, but it does react pretty weird with water. So I might need to upgrade this at some point. So that's something to take into your design. You also need wire cutters and some kind of clamping device, like a pliers or something like that to make this really, really steady. But other than that, let's get into the construction. So for my Brian Shrimp Hatchery, there's a lot of DIY tutorials on YouTube and they all kind of involve like taking the bottle cutting this part off and using it as a stand. And I've used those before and they work fine. But the thing is, they're not easy to harvest out of. They make a lot of noise rumbling on the floor and they can tip over. What I found to be the best way to do this is to actually hang your branch and patchery. So you can see I've got hooks up here. These hooks are like real sturdy, like they're not going anywhere. And then I hang the branch and patchery on there. It reduces the rumbling noise and it keeps it really, really neat and like high up. So you're not gonna tip it over or anything like that. And the good thing is you can turn off your branch and patchery and then everything comes down to the bottom if you shine a light and then you can just harvest out of the bottom and you don't get like all the muck and all that stuff. Like you don't have to harvest from the top. So hanging a branch and patchery is definitely the best way to do this. When you're buying a bottle, look for a bottle with like a nozzle similar to this. So you can see like this one's very conical and leads down to like one point. You're on a very pointy bottle because if you have a really fat one, they don't really collect well down the bottom. So this is a Kirk's bottle. Kirk's isn't in America anywhere like that, but in Australia, the Kirk's bottles are definitely the best ones. I've like looked at all of them. Those Pepsi bottles aren't good. Like you want Kirk's ones. They're very, very sturdy, good bottles. Basically to start, what you're gonna to wanna to do is cut this part of the bottle off. This bit's a bit tricky. You get it started. And then you can tidy it up after. Okay, then we can go around and neaten this up. All right, cool. So you can see there, we've just cut the top off. You can sand this down if you're worried about getting cut or whatever, but I'm not too worried. Next thing, you'll also need a drill. You can also find like, you can melt little holes or whatever into this. Like if you have literally like nothing, we're gonna drill holes in the top. So one, 
let it melt through. So one here, and then you want to go directly opposite as best you can. Let's put a mark there. Cool. So we've got our two holes here directly opposite each other. That's important because it'll balance it out as you can see. So just pick off any of this melted plastic on the sides because that'll ruin your seal. The next step is probably the trickiest and this is getting your wire. So I've been using 300 millimeters of wire, so 30 centimeters. So I'll take a bit of this wire out of this coil, measure it over here. By the way, the holes I drilled were six millimeters, so they match the M6 rating. So you just get like a hole the exact same rating as your bolt. Anyways, we've got our wire here. What we're gonna wanna do is put this up here. Get rid of this, don't need this for a second. Go ahead, take a bolt, get a washer. I can't lose these down the sink. Get your wire, and this is gonna be like the trickiest part. You gotta wrap the wire in a loop around this as neat as you can. So get it started. You're probably not gonna be able to do it with your bare fingers. Get it started. And then once you kind of get like that shape there, I get my um, pliers, whatever these are, clamps and pinch it down. So get it as neat as you can, like that. That's probably really good there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. That's like pretty good there. And then you're gonna wanna do it on the opposite side. So we're making the loop like this. To get it straight, make sure you loop it the same way. So we're gonna go that way. Otherwise it'll look weird. And don't forget to put the washer in because I did that before. You'll have to undo it all. Like that, bend it around. I didn't even put it in. I just said that. <laughs> so busy telling you guys, I forgot to do it myself. Alrighty. So once we've done that, we'll go ahead and get our bottle, plug the bolts in, put in the washer, and just do up the bolts. I like to bend it down this way while I'm doing this so I can tighten it coming back up. Just tighten it up, doesn't need to be insanely tight. Just enough to keep that wire in there. Now we can bend this part up and get a nice, like there's, that's not going anywhere. Like that's really tight. And that's basically it. What I like to do after this is like, try and find the middle, like here, and then bend a little into it to make it look professional. And then bend this out this out and just make it look nice and neat but you definitely don't need to do this and yeah for the frame that's basically it that's how we make the branch and hatchery so we'll wait for the bottom bottle cap part to come and then I'll just show you guys it working but you can get the bottle caps like on eBay they're called co2 bottle caps just look that up and you'll find them but yeah super easy way to do this so when that part comes, I'll show you guys me using this and yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully in a few days.